Hello everyone and welcome to the latest video from The Brainery. So joining me from now on is Julia, so I'll let her introduce herself. Hello everyone, I'm really excited to join The Brainery. Like Lucas, I'm a science nerd and I love optics, so I'm really excited for some of the future projects that we're going to work on. Yeah, we got a lot of really cool optics projects planned out for the future. But for today's video, we will be assembling the latest PCB design we've made for the Ferrobot. And following that, we will be controlling it using a software package we've been developing called SciCAD. Alright, enjoy! With this design, I thickened and widened my traces so they can handle a lot more current without burning up. I made my board design smaller and also added a lot more spaces for my electromagnets. There's one thing I didn't consider, and that was I placed vias directly below the screw heads of my Chicago screws. To avoid making short circuits, I covered them with electrical tape. I then placed the board inside a laser cut acrylic container assembled using chemical cement and acrylic hinges. Alright, so the design seems to be working really well at half an amp and one volt. The only things I'd like to change are move away from having so many wires by adding a shift register directly to the board, as well as having a mount so I can put an Arduino Nano directly on the device to make it more portable. With the additional lid, it was much easier to add the webcam overlay for the SciCAD software. You can see routes and keyboard control are working great. I also renamed the project SciCAD as an homage and thanks to the company SciBots. Cybots funded the developments of this open source software project for almost an entire year and is ran by Ryan and Christian Fobel, the original developers of the open hardware project the Dropbot. I actually named the Ferrobot after the Dropbot since that open hardware project was a major inspiration on me building this digital microfluidic platform. Unfortunately, they no longer have the resources to maintain the software for their Dropbot product. However, I'll be doing my best to ensure that SciCAD is compatible with the Dropbot long into the future. If things do happen to change though, the original project will be left in the SciBots organization on the Microdrop 3 GitHub page. Alright, that concludes my video for this week. Make sure to subscribe to see more from SciCAD and Ferrobot, as well as other projects I have planned out for the future. Alright, take care!